Hey guys, I'm back. So I know it's a while I've been, uh, since I made a video on the Particle Accelerator series, but, you know, uh, I talked about making Quadrupole last time. So, this time, this is the actual Quadrupole. As you can see, it's on the TV. So here's the Quadrupole. And, um, it's, it's around this PVC cylinder. Yeah, I've just cut a bit off. As you can see, we have four magnets here. We have these, um, that one right there, the blue, with the blue coils. We have one right there sticking out right at the camera. One down there with some orange coils. One on the uh, other side right there, it's got some like uh, purplish coils. So, um, now the way it's set up is, uh, let me see. Um, uh, south, south, north, north. Let me just make sure that's correct. Yes, I think it is. I think it is. So I have it set up like that. It's powered by one, each coil gets 1D batteries worth of power. So not too many volts going through it, but they, each coil does consume several amps of current. Like 1, 1 1.5, 2 amps of current. So anyway, the way this quadrupole works is it lines, I think it aligns vertically, if I remember correctly. Anyway, um, so I'm going to turn the TV on and show the process of putting all the batteries on. Once the batteries are all on, I'm going to uh, flip it over to the uh, screen side, and you can see really what's happening. Well, actually, you know what? I'll put it on the screen side. Which battery I'm putting on? Here's the screen, and if you hear anything, that's uh, it's probably radiation or something like that. Maybe you know, because when the electrons, when the uh, um, concentrated electron stream in one dot hits the phosphor. It's much stronger than normally is meant to be, so it breaks down the phosphor slightly. And also when it hits that, um, there's a grate right behind the phosphor with little holes that, that uh, make sure the light only hits the pixels. And so um, when uh, that thing gets hit, it also produces x-rays. So just, if you're making one of these things, don't stand right in front of the TV, and you'll be fine. So, power it up, and I'm going to wait till the beam comes on, and I'm going to... Uh, I've only done this once before, so I'm just... This is, this is kind of a new experience. Anyway, you can see the dot is uh, pretty close to the center there. And uh, wait till all the beams come on, and you're going to see it's going to get very bright uh, very soon. Uh, once all the beams turn on. It's got this one of like these uh, starting up faces. Anyway, uh, while the dot is still there, I'm going to put on the D battery for the, um, uh, what should we call it, the, uh, the magnet that was closest to the camera when you saw it. So, as you can see, that sort of does the vertical. So as you can see, the dots right now aren't perfectly aligned, but they're sort of aligned slightly horizontally. Let me see if I can uh, zoom in on that to, uh, no, okay. Well, anyway, if you can see, the dots are aligned horizontally like that, right? Sort of not quite horizontal. If I do this, they get, <laughs> they get put vertical, so they get put more, ver they, they get put up, up, basically, they get moved up the screen. They also get spread out slightly. This is only from one magnet, keep in mind. So I'm going to just tighten the rubber band. I'm just using aluminum foil to connect the D batteries with a rubber band. So it's going to take me a long time. So sorry if this video is it's pretty slow. Because I've already wasted, I've got no see how much of your uh, time. Anyway, so, sorry for this terrible noise. Now I'm going to do the magnet that was on the bottom. So as you're going to see, that one aligned it vertically slightly, but now this is going to spread them apart and move it horizontally. So it's going to push them, what this magnet on the bottom does is pushing them back towards the middle. Pushing the beams back towards the middle. And uh, it's also uh, aligning them uh, sort of horizontally slightly because of the... Um, all right, hopefully that will do it. No, it won't. Ah, sorry, this aluminum foil system sucks, and just to be frank, it, it sucks, but it's the only it's the only option I could really think of to do this. It's easy and fast enough, so. Also, where the quadrupole is depends a lot, too. Oh, my God, this is so slow. All right. Well, I'm just going to leave that there and hope that 
so uh, this the coil's getting pretty hot about now. Now I'm going to do the coil that would be on the top where you saw it last. So as you can see, this coil spreads them out and pushes it um, in the uh, other horizontal direction. Spreads out, pushes it in the other horizontal direction, and uh, this aligns it even further. All right. Ah, oh, it broke. Shoot. The uh, negative lead on the magnet came off of the thing. I, like I said, this system is very, very bad, so I wouldn't... You know, I, I don't have any D-size battery holders. But, uh... I'm sorry, this has got to be the most boring video. But, uh, once it's on, you'll see what I mean. Okay, so I put that there. I'm going to put that... There, so now the beam is pretty much... It's very slightly horizontal just because of the magnet, but it's it's already sp uh, starting to get some aligning. Anyway, it's not aligned quite to the center, so I'm going to just put this last, just hold this last magnet on. I'm not going to, not going to do any fancy, uh, fancy stuff. Whatever. Anyway, you can see that that uh, spreads it out and pushes it back horizontally to the correct position. So right now, as you can see, I'm not sure that you can. But the beam would be, um, right now the beam is aligned very, ever so slightly horizontally. The dots are pretty spread out because obviously the uh, electron gun parts are not right next to each other. And you can see by rotating the coil, I rotate the dots. So anyway, I'm going to turn this TV off. That was probably a, a very boring video, but these batteries are getting pretty hot now. Um, and this, this system, like I said, sucks or, um... Uh, just all purpose. Anyway, what uh, the way? So you saw that working, as you can see. You probably can't see on video very well, but the dots got farther and farther apart because they were vertically. They were pulled towards the poles of the magnets. Anyway, vertically. Oh my gosh, my tripod. Vertically, they were pulled towards the poles right here. They were the beam was spread out, so the uh, beam that happens to be on one side was spread out to the top. So the beam that's more on one side was spread out to the top, and the beam that's more on the other side, the other side was spread out to the bottom, and the beam that's in the middle pretty much stayed to the middle. The magnets on the sides then squeezed the beam in. So the magnets on the sides squeezed the beam in, and they aligned it horizontally. So instead, normally the beams are like this, and then it lined them up like that. So, you know, if, you, if we turned it on, you know, you remember you saw, you saw this big bright dot, and then as the video went on, um, it got pulled out more vertically. If I had more powerful power sources, you would see that um, it worked, but I don't have anything capable of the amount of current that these uh, system needs. Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed this quadrupole magnet. I mean, it's nothing special, but it, it is a quadrupole magnet, and it works. As you can see when I rotated the magnet, those uh, three, the, the, I think if this is, if I, it, they aligned, you know, the, the alignment twisted, just like it would happen if you twisted a regular quadrupole. Anyway, I, I forget the term, but this is one of these uh, vertically focusing quadruple magnets. Now, if I was to just rotate the magnet sideways, you know, it would become horizontally focusing, or I could just reverse the battery currents or whatnot and do it focused horizontally. So, I mean, that's it. I'm sorry if that was boring to watch, and I really need to get a better system sometime, and I will try, but, you know, always, uh, you know, have fun making your own quadruple magnets. Uh, just to recap, the way it works is it pushes the beam squeezes it in horizontally to al align it on one on the y-axis in this case and pulls it out so it, uh, it squeezes on the x-axis it's very focusing on the x-axis it puts everything it puts if the beam is you know if the beam is way over on this side of the screen it will push it to the to the middle it'll you know push it to the middle or it will do push it closer to the middle obviously this power source isn't powerful enough to get it quite all in the middle but it's it's pretty decent then it'll get pulled up on the sides like that, so it'll get spread out over the y-axis because of the magnets on the top. So that's the way it works. Uh, have fun building drone quadrupole magnets with the electromagnet tutorial, the way it works. Just go through those electromagnets from the electromagnet tutorial, glue it on a PVC pipe, and put some batteries or high amperage power source. You're going to need like two amps per coil-ish, depends on how many volts. Uh, the more volts, obviously, the more, the better it will work. The more it'll spread out in the y, and the more it'll push it on the x. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.